Hello and welcome to another episode. My name is Ioana and today I'll be presenting you this beautiful villa in Nueva Andalucía, Marbella, Spain. We are only 15 minutes walking to Porto Banos Beach and this property has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, 444 square meters of interior space and it is built on a 611 square meters plot and it's currently on the market for 1,850,000 euros. Let's check it out. But before we do that, we are currently on the street level and you see here we have two motorized wooden gates one that leads towards the, the garage and one up further there, which leads towards a concrete driveway. And as we continue coming on to this uh, concrete driveway, we arrive here at the entrance of this home, where we also have this area where you can park three to four cars without a problem. And also you can notice here this retaining wall where we have planted these young trees. You will have a nice greenery oasis. As we continue, I really like this counter levering beam and the grand entrance that we have here. We have on either side two water features, a greenery over there and lighting so that at night it's nicely lit up. Let's take a moment to appreciate this double height wooden pivot door which reveals on either side. Now let's check out the indoors. As we enter, we have here a skylight feature over to our right we have a storage cabinet which serves for storing of course but also for concealing this electric panel which i think it's a really nice um, attention to, to detail that was put in here on the ground floor we have the living room area the formal dining room area the open plan kitchen and an ensuite bedroom but before i show you all that note here the automation system from where you can um, adjust pretty much everything in your house from security, um, illumination and also uh, the music because we have a Sonos surround system inbuilt throughout the property including on the terraces um, on the first floor and here outside. Apart from the home automation system we also have hydraulic underfloor heating and cooling which I think it's a pretty unique feature as not many properties around here have it but in the same time it is very useful because summers here can get pretty warm over here we have the living room area which is very cozy and has plenty of natural light coming in through the sliding doors um, that are floor to ceiling um, over here we have a feature wall with this textured wallpaper that matches the lounge chair and on this side, we have a comfortable sofa together with this large format coffee table. You can see from here the see-through fireplace, which I think is a really nice feature of this home. Um, together with this pillar that segregates the living room area from the dining room. There we have a half bathroom that serves the ground floor and what I really like about this bathroom is this Bali element over here. It must be one of my favorite spots in the house. In here we have a floating vanity sink that is nicely fabricated. I like the fact that they used the limestone throughout as tiles on the floor. 
on the, uh, the sink itself and on the backsplash as well. And this mirror has mood light lighting, so you can change the colors and also the intensity of the light. I think that's again a pretty nice detail to have. And now let's check out the dining room and the open plan kitchen. have the formal dining room area where we have this um, table set up with eight chairs but you could possibly put a larger one uh, should you need to there's plenty of natural light that flows in through these sliding doors and also through this owning window that can also open up and if you don't prefer eating indoors you can actually use the outdoor space for dining outdoors over here we have a a nice balcony set up with this round table with six chairs that overlooks the pool area you have nice sea views and the space is set up with this glass railing that provides the impression of more space and ties up nicely this space together also i really like the architectural designs that have been used throughout with these beams from here and also you can Notice from here this beam's counter levering over this area too. And now let's head to the kitchen um, where we have an open plan concept. I really like the fact that they use this wooden paneling throughout here on the open shelving as well and also on the floating cabinetry over there. The kitchen is fully equipped with Miele appliances. We have here the induction plate. Um, and you might be thinking, where is the extractant fan? Because we don't have anything hanging from the ceiling. And it's just here. And now that you saw that we want you to subscribe to our channel, please do that and also comment in the section below if you have any questions um, and don't forget to like and subscribe now going back to the presentation over here we have this uh, porcelain white countertop with the waterfall effect over here and extruding slightly um, in here we have open shelving on that side microwave and the oven over here we have the dishwasher and washing machine, a wine cooler and your full-size fridge freezer that are panelled in. We are back on the hallway and obviously here it's a perfect place to display your art and over to our left we have the exit towards the pool but before we go there let's check out the bedroom i like the fact that it has this door so you can close it and have privacy into your bedroom i like the fact that it is floor to ceiling and also it has this nice reveal over here these handles feel very premium and in here we have to our right the walking wardrobe and over here we have the bathroom the bathroom is kitted out with a walking shower. You have beautiful sea views right from, from your shower. You have your usual rain head and, and handheld unit. Over here we have this floating vanity sink, nice chrome fixtures, a touch control mirror. Now let's check out the walking wardrobe, which has sliding doors automatic lighting as you open the, the door. We're not gonna go into too much details over here because in the master bedroom, we're gonna go into details. So now let's check out the bedroom. This is a good size bedroom. Obviously it's a guest bedroom or a child's bedroom. Um, it has plenty of, of natural light coming in through these sliding doors that are floor to ceiling. We have here a nice textured wallpaper. And this is your direct access from the living room area. Over here you have a nice setup for sunbathing, 
From there you can see the ground floor bedroom and as we continue we have these nice details with the um, middle island over here. You can notice the drains that are slightly inclined for the water to, to flow in naturally. Here you have your infinity edge pool with a nice area for, uh, for chill out, sunbathing over there. And I really like the modern architecture of this property that can be observed from here. We have this beam detail that cantilevers over the seating area. Over here we have this mirrored railings that provides privacy. here we have the stairways that lead us to the first floor where we have two bedrooms and a terrace and downstairs where we have another bedroom and a cinema room. Here on the upstairs we have two bedrooms over there but first let me please show you this beautiful terrace that we have over here with amazing sea views. Follow me please. This terrace is just impressive. Over there you have mountain views, we have sea views all over. Over to uh, that side you can see the Rock of Gibraltar and the coastline of Africa, which I think it's a really impressive thing. And this is not the highest point in this property because we also have the solarium upstairs and just imagine the breathtaking views that you get from up there. Here we are in a second bedroom of this property that receives a plenty of natural light coming in through this floor to ceiling sliding doors that we have both on this side and on this side. So you have amazing sea views from both sides and from over here you also have mountain views. It's a really good size bedroom and it could easily be a master bedroom given the fact that you have these amazing views, the access to your terrace that has also the inbuilt Sonos speakers and just like all bedrooms you have your king size bed some storage unit in front of it the reading lights that are adjustable in the ceiling we have the ac diffusers nicely tucked in the coving in the ceiling with the mood light and of course the recessed lighting we have on the floor heating just like throughout the property it has its uh, own walking wardrobe and also its own bathroom mentioned before here on the first floor we have a hallway leading towards the two bedrooms that we have here we have a beautiful picture window over here that is mirrored so provides plenty of privacy but allows natural light to flow in and let's check out the master bedroom that is over there and now this is the master bedroom as promised it is bigger it is better it has a bigger walking wardrobe, ensuite bathroom that is really beautiful and let's go through the details of this place. We have over here a nice sitting area that is nicely set up. We have the internet and electric outlets over here so if you want to install your smart TV you can do that. Over here we have the master walking wardrobe which again is um, with these pocket doors that are closing and opening and the light is on voila and over here you have plenty of storage space you have your shelving you have the inclined shelves for uh, for the shoes we have the the LED light um, inbuilt in the wooden cabinet trim over here you have your your railing the drawers that have soft clothes and overall it's just a very practical space now 
let's check the master bathroom, which is just over here. Again, we have another pocket door. Over here we have a double vanity sink, beautifully fabricated with chrome fixtures. Check out these details, it's like really nice faucet and a touch control mirror. Over here we have the freestanding bathtub with the chrome filler over there, floor to ceiling windows, a floating toilet, underfloor heating of course and your walking shower with the rain head, handheld unit and the island drain. So now let's go downstairs. I like the fact that they took the skirting a bit higher and also they included these lights in. This picture glass over here is actually mirrored so you have complete privacy from the outside. So we are now in the basement. Over here we have the laundry room where you have your Miele washing machine and Miele dryer. You have a secondary a sink over there with some countertop. Over here you have the machinery room which where you have everything all the powerhouse of this property pretty much you have your water tank the the water tank for the heating and cooling um, upstairs now we come onto another hallway on to the left we have one small bedroom that is en suite again in here we have a double vanity setup with the usual touch control mirror and your walking shower here is the bedroom this is a single bedroom um, maybe for your working stuff now over here that's the way to the garage which we'll see in a moment but before let's check out the cinema room And this is the actual cinema room. Over here you can install a nice bar for your refreshments. Over to that side we have a full bathroom with a shower. Here we have a setup with a comfortable sofa, a large format TV. Also you have surrounding system by Bose. And of course you have the, your AC, recess light and all that good stuff. And let me show you one more room that we have over here currently set up as a bedroom however it could be transformed in a gym in a yoga room obviously we have natural light coming in through the picture window and we have this nice laminated wooden floors over here and the double height ceiling now let's check out the underground garage So now we're checking out the underground garage where we have two Ferraris parked. I did not lie, here are your Ferraris. Um, they're both red and clearly says Ferrari on it. <laughs> Joking aside, now this is your underground garage where you can comfortably park two cars. Here you have your motorized sliding wooden gates and your driveway which again it's with a motorized sliding gate that brings us to the end of the video thanks for watching and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up comment in the section down below and also follow our channel for more videos like this and until next time i will see you soon goodbye Thank you.